I'm Peter Nkata, the manage, di managing director of Sebo Maria, which is a registered NGO in Malawi involved in the feeding program currently. I have been involved in school feeding for quite some time. My real first involvement was the way back in 2002 when there was also a bad famine in Malawi. Since 2002, uh, because of the famine which was there, there was uh, an organization involved in school feeding. I managed to run the organization from 2002 all the way to 2008. The, the chairman of that organization was Tony Smith, and I was the country director of that organization. We both left the organization and got involved in the, uh, another charity called Beehive in Chiromoni. Currently, we have moved, evolved again to be involved in the school feeding program through Sebo Maria. Uh, Sebo Maria is a girls' high school's name in Japan, and the name Sebo in Japanese means Hore Mother. On the 11th of February, there is a celebration of Hore Mother of Lords. So therefore, it was just befitting to have this Sebo, which is Hore Mother, started on the 11th of February. The need for feeding is quite great, but the same conditions have prevailed in 2014-15 as they were in 2002. Big famine this year through several factors. Huge floods last year where huge amount of crops were wasted, washed away, followed by a bad El Nino this year which has made a huge drought, a drought period in most parts of Malawi and parts of Southern Africa. And so a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of children are going out without food. My name is Rosemary Mkandawiri. I am a director of uh, Sebo Maria Malawi. I love working for Sebo Maria Malawi as a director uh, because I am very fond of children. I uh, find Japanese people to be very sincere, very friendly, and um, also very impartial. Uh, this um, was manifest for me when in 2005 I was made managing director of one of their companies, Toyota Malawi. They respect people of every race, every gender, and um, they're very good people to work with. It would be very difficult for somebody who does not live here in Malawi to really appreciate the situation of the, the plight of the child. In Malawi, every time, even when you are at the hospital, you ask somebody, they have gone there, they are sick, you ask them, how are you, they tell you they are fine. So they always you know, smile and tell you they are fine, but they are not. So it's the same with the children. You probably meet them and they will be smiling at you. The children that Sebo is trying to feed is that these children have got to attend school, but if they don't get fed, it means they cannot go to school. So Sebo is trying to build this children's future. I would appeal to the people of Japan to join Sebo to build the future of these lovely children in Malawi. With just 15 yen, you can save a child's life. The beginning of Sebo, Maria, Malawi was Chiromoni. Well, that's where we are. But Sebo has got to be an international movement, a movement capturing so many countries because there are so many hungry children, so many people in need throughout the world. We have made the first step. Most of our children the biggest part of the population, more than near 50% of the population, are children under the age of 15. 
So there's a huge number of children in schools. That's a lot of energy, but they're hungry. They are hungry for education, they're hungry for food. And Sebo is actually meeting these two areas of their need. I've never been to Japan myself, but my real connection is, goes five years back, actually almost five years this week, when there was a tsunami in Japan, I was in Malawi at that time in Blanta, the chairman, the president of the Rotary Club of Blanta. The Rotary Club at that time with the tsunami, I initiated to raise funds to help the uh, tsunami victims in Japan. But one might ask, why do you want to raise funds for Japan, a poor Malawi? But for, for me and for us in Malawi, it was a token. It was a token of togetherness, that we knew that people needed some help. It didn't matter where it came from. So the rate we had, we gave to uh, to the Japanese government. And for information, I had a thank you letter from the Japanese government personally to thank me for the raising of those funds. And that started my first connection to Japan. And the, uh, when we we are now sitting in, another, in a crisis in Malawi, I thought it would be the, an opportune time to call upon the people I helped five years ago. So this is just about the opportune time to help to call on people of Japan and say, help Malawi, because Malawi is now in trouble. I am Danstein Mwangulu. I am a Justice of Appeal in the Supreme Court of Malawi, and I'm also a director of um, uh, Sable uh, Maria Malawi. Sometimes when you rise up to uh, where I am, people think that probably you had a very good background. I was actually raised by my grandparents and my grandparents took me when I was like five to six years of age. And so I can identify that uh, myself when I see those children, um, that um, the parents are trying to do their best, but maybe they cannot get too far, given that sometimes they have more children. My hopes for the children who receive help from Sabo probably reflects what the mission of Sabo Malawi is. And that is, you want these children to develop to their full potential. And that is not usually possible if they are denied the basic thing, which is important for their emotional, psychological, intellectual development, which is food itself. <laughs>